to prop up your life. My name is Donaru. What if I do? This is a very curious man who becomes unstoppable when it comes to that kind of question. So I, what if Hunter, am very curious about this one thing currently. That is, what happens if I get infested by parasitic worms? What is in front of me are perfect candies to solve this question of mine. This means, if I eat these one by one, I can get infested by three different parasites. How wonderful! I will first try this candy A. Mr. Donato, you can't! I think you notice it, but this is one of Dayako's pranks. Hey, Teko! I swallowed it already! Oh, that was fast! You don't hesitate at all like always! It's more like your appearance shocked me and it slipped into my mouth! Oh, I help you do this, but I came here to stop you! Parasite Candy A Tapeworm the first candy was a tapeworm, huh? It kind of feels like I got a new pet. How exciting! You are too crazy! A tapeworm is one of the most popular parasites. The size is unbelievable. It can grow more than 10 meters in a human stomach. Some people found it coming out of their butthole. <laughs> How scary! I see. How interesting! It's not interesting at all. If you have it in your stomach, you will suffer from nausea, stomach ache, and diarrhea. Oh, I'm starting to feel sick. Oh. That's more than what I expected. Are you okay? It seems like a worm is growing bigger in your stomach. But just this much diarrhea won't stop me. It will be a nice way to lose weight to have a tapeworm in my stomach. Thanks to this, I can get a nice body. A thing called tapeworm diet became popular in the past. But this is extremely dangerous. It's not just diarrhea or puking the tapeworm causes. The most terrifying thing it can do is it will stay quiet in your stomach. What do you mean, Teko? For example, there is a case when a doctor performed a surgery to take out a brain tumor but it happened to be a tapeworm. Oh. Simply put, you can get infested in your brain, eyeballs, and liver. There are people who behave strange like calling a person who was dead and went mad. It is possible to get a consciousness disorder if a tapeworm parasite in the brain affects the central nerves. I understand. I'm learning, Teko. Okay then, let's try Candy B. Why are you like this? Parasite Candy B. What fly? What is this next parasite like? Don't ask me after you eat it! It's a horrifying butterfly. Butterfly. Its Japanese name is human skin bug. It is native to South America, but we can't relax just because we are in Japan. That bug lays eggs and animals get infested by those larvae. And those bugs come out by ripping through the skin from the inside at the end. Hmm, my arm skin is swelling out. Is this it? Oh no, the larvae are trying to come out already! Ah! Self-imposed restraint! Wow, that was horrible! You don't want to continue this, do you? Of course I will! I have to try everything! Otherwise, I can't introduce myself as What If Hunter! Please throw away that fry! Alright, let's move on to Candy C, shall we? What kind of parasite is it? Okay! Please be done with this experiment after listening to this, okay? This is a parasite that infests squid. What? Squid? Ah! Mr. Donaro, why did you eat it before I could tell you about that parasite? Everyone eats squid, so I don't think it's a big deal. No, the bold ones we can eat. But I'm talking about the raw squid. Firefly squid especially. A horrible parasite is living in them. Did you know that? Parasite candy C, Spiruria type X. That one is called Spiruria type X. That sounds kind of cool. Not at all. This one is infamous among doctors. Many people eat raw fish that has anisakis, but never eat firefly squid. Unlike the butterfly, this one is already in Japan, so you never know when you could get it. It is very dangerous and close to our lives. 
Plus, there's no medicine that's effective to this worm. If you get infested by this, you either wait for it to die or have a surgery to get rid of it. The most terrifying thing about this parasite is that it crawls under your skin. Uh. This is called a creeping eruption. You will get swells which looks like a string with an extreme itchiness. It keeps moving irregularly. Oh no! There's a bug under my skin! <laughs> Help me, Teko! I warned you! Um, this episode was about parasites. Those creatures are so scary, weren't they? I never want to get infested by those one. I hope this knowledge will help you to prop up your life someday. Alright, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed. Please subscribe my channel and give me a lots of likes. Good luck in your life.